In today's video, we're diving deep into a super common question. Where is the throttle position sensor located? Whether you're dealing with poor acceleration, a rough idle, or a check engine light, the TPS might be the problem. Hey everyone, welcome back to Garage Galaxy, where we make car repairs simple and save your money. Make sure to watch to the end for pro tips and troubleshooting tools. Let's get started. So what is the throttle position sensor, or TPS? The TPS is a small sensor that tells your car's computer, the ECU, how far the throttle is open. Think of it as the translator between your gas pedal and your engine. When you press the accelerator, the throttle body opens to let in more air. The TPS tells the ECU exactly how much air is flowing in, so it can adjust fuel delivery, ignition timing, and more. Why does it matter? It helps control engine speed. It affects fuel economy. It controls shifting in automatics. It helps reduce emissions. It keeps your car running smooth. When the TPS goes bad, your engine doesn't know how much power you're asking for, which leads to problems. Number two, where is the TPS located? The TPS is almost always mounted directly on the throttle body. In older vehicles with a cable throttle, you can trace the accelerator cable from the gas pedal to the throttle body under the hood. Once you find the throttle body, look for a small rectangular or oval sensor attached to the side or top with a wiring harness going into it. That's your TPS. In newer cars with drive-by-wire systems, there's no physical cable. The gas pedal sends an electronic signal to the throttle body, which has a built-in TPS. That means the TPS is often integrated into the electronic throttle body unit. It may not be serviceable separately, and you may have to replace the whole throttle body. Tip. If you're unsure, check your repair manual or Google TPS location, year, make, model. Symptoms of a bad TPS. Let's talk about symptoms. How do you know if your throttle position sensor is failing? Common signs of a bad TPS. Hesitation when accelerating. Sudden surges or jerky throttle response. Engine stalling or rough idling. Check engine light with codes P0121 to P0124. Car stuck in limp mode. Won't go over 40 miles per hour. Increased fuel consumption. Trouble shifting in automatic cars. Engine surging. Dashboard with CEL. Fuel gauge drop. If your car is experiencing these issues, your TPS could be sending the wrong signals, or none at all. How to test the TPS Before replacing your TPS, it's smart to test it first. Here's how you can do it with a multimeter. TPS testing steps You'll need a digital multimeter, back probe leads or safety pins, your ignition key, not engine running. Set your multimeter to DC voltage and find the three-wire connector on your TPS. One wire is ground, one is reference voltage, approximately five volts, one is the signal wire. Steps. Back probe the signal wire. Turn the key to the on position. Don't start engine. Slowly open the throttle by hand. Watch the voltage increase. A good TPS will smoothly increase from around 0.5 volts, closed throttle, to about 4.5 volts, wide open throttle. If the voltage jumps, drops, or stays the same, the TPS is bad. Ready to replace your TPS? Here's a basic guide that works for most cable throttle vehicles. Tools you'll need. Screwdriver or socket set. Replacement TPS. Multimeter. Optional. Torque wrench, if available. Steps. Disconnect battery. Safety first. Unplug TPS harness. Remove the screws, usually two to three. Take off old TPS. Install new TPS. Align it correctly. Reconnect harness. Reconnect battery. Some vehicles require a TPS relearn or calibration using a scan tool. So check your service manual or online forum for your specific model. Before we wrap up, here are a few pro tips. Clean the throttle body while you're there. Use dielectric grease on connectors. Check for wiring damage, not just the sensor. Don't guess. 
always confirm with a scanner or multimeter. Don't over-tighten screws. TPS casings are plastic and can crack. Don't skip calibration if your car requires it. Replacing a TPS is easy once you know what to look for, and catching it early can save you from bigger engine issues later. And there you have it. A full guide to the throttle position sensor. What it does, where to find it, how to test it, and how to replace it like a pro. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more DIY car repair tutorials.